Good morning, everyone. I'm Jeline Andrews, and this is The Law Down, where personal injury attorney Brooke Goff shares advice on important legal topics. Brooke, thanks for being here. Thank you for having me. Always All right, so it. today we are talking about how you can understand your auto insurance policy. Why is it so importantly important to thoroughly understand what you have coverage for? I mean, because you're paying for it, right? And you don't necessarily, you usually, most people will not know what they have until they have to use it, right? So, you know, I've never seen a market like insurance where they've, number one, made people afraid to use it, even though they're paying for it, right? And number two, people are paying for stuff that they don't even know that they have. Like, it's just, it boggles my mind because some people are such, like, dollars and cents people because, I mean, Connecticut's an expensive state to live in. Absolutely. Insurance, they're like, okay, well, I don't know how much insurance, I just pay the bill every month. And I'm like, how are you so nonchalant about that? But we're talking about, like, a, you know, 10 cent increase in gas, right? So it doesn't make sense. But um, auto insurance policies, what's most important, the coverages you need to know about are, in my opinion, three, right? Well, four, really. Liability coverage, underinsured, uninsured motorist coverage, med pay coverage and collision. So liability coverage is if you cause the accident, what can somebody come after you for, right? That's your coverage. And you want as much coverage with the insurance as you can, because if you don't have enough of coverage, they'll come after your assets. My clients, we file PJRs. I mean, if, if the person that hit my client doesn't have enough coverage, but they own a house outright, I mean, we're trying, right? right. So um, you want to make sure that if you have, you know, 50 grand in the bank, have $100,000 of equity in your house, you at least carry a $250,000 auto insurance policy. The up, the uptick in the rate of the difference between 100 and 250 is not that much. I always, um, you know, for, for me anyways, I always recommend conversion. It's a cheaper way to get additional coverage. So if you're in an accident and somebody has $25,000 of coverage, right, and you have 100, that means that you can get 25 from their coverage and up to 75 from yours. But if you have conversion, you can get 25 from their coverage and the full 100 from yours, so it converts. So just FYI, that's a cheap way for people that are looking to, you know, count dollars and cents, that you can get more coverage in certain situations. And there is a minimum for people here yeah, in the state of, of Connecticut. Yep, 25,000, 50,000. I have people complain about it all the time. I'm like, listen, when I got out of law school, it was 20,000. 40,000. So I know it's only five grand and 10, but it's a big difference. Uh, your underinsured, uninsured motorist coverage, that's how you protect yourself. So if somebody hits you and they're at fault, but they don't have any insurance or enough insurance, your insurance steps into their shoes and pays you. So I always tell people, look, that usually matches your liability coverage. So if you have 25500 for liability, that needs to be 25500 med pay coverage is free medical money. Um, it's very cheap. It's much cheaper than paying a deductible on insurance, which is dollar by dollar medical payment coverage, super easy, quick from the insurance, and it's and it's literally, they don't give you a hard time, you submit the bill, and they pay you back. And collision, obviously, we all know what that is, right? So if your car gets totaled in the accident, it pays you out for the car. Um, if somebody hits you without insurance, and the, your car gets totaled, um, you're responsible for that. So if you have no collision, and you have, you're driving around a car without collision, and somebody has no insurance and hits you, you're on the hook for the entire loss of the car. So. Want to always be prepared for yep. anything unexpected, right, Brooke? You got As it. As always, thanks yep. so much for thanks. being here. And remember, you can always learn more by visiting gofflawgroup.net. For Connecticut's Morning Buzz, I'm Jillian Andrews.